Good day, good day. Welcome to Roverland Part 2. Yeah, this is your friend Dan O. Welcome back to Part 2 of the Matchbox Freelander. This is your friend Dan O. How the honk are ya? Hey, thanks for joining me again. I tried to do this all in one video and it just was not gonna fit. We got all the way through these paint schemes, all the way to this bugger right here. And uh, we're going to take a look at him again just for a little bit and then uh, move right along. So let's get that big thing out of the way and take a look. As you remember, I left off with this guy. This was one of the, um, what was it, 2003 is where we left off. Uh, Hero Cities, yes, and uh, I was uh, bragging or telling you <laughs> that BAMCA did not have this listed as a variation that they had on their listings, and uh, I'm going to have to send a picture to them and uh, have them put it on their archives list of a variation for the Freelander. So there we go, we left off a 2003 with the Freelander, Matchbox Freelander. 31 varieties or variations so far. Uh, I don't have them all, but we took a look at a lot of stuff. As you uh, remember, we'll just take a quick pick, peek up here at my poster board. We're almost done. We got this one and this one, and that's all I've got for carded. But uh, the big thing was... The Freelander was used throughout uh, as um, five pack. And that's where we're going to start off today with. And this video is a five pack. This was uh, Looney Tunes five pack. And uh, like I say, they, they were in, uh, I don't know, a dozen? I can't even remember. Ten different five packs the Freelander was. Uh, mainly it was uh, Nickelodeon's uh, Rugrats, but here they did a Looney Tunes one. And uh, yeah, so this one is uh, 2004. And uh, here we see him, Taz there, nice blue with the saw blade wheels. Metallic blue, plastic base on this one. Pretty sharp, pretty sharp. So if you uh, missed uh, part one, I'm going to put a tag up here for part one, but we're going to go on with part two and just keep moving right along. We're going to have to get through all these eventually. All right, the next one that they did was in 2004, and it was called Around the World. I got my notes here because I got a special something for you. <laughs> this was uh, Matchbox Around the World, um, Airs Rock. Australia. Shout out to Dave Christie down there in South Australia, one of my first uh, subscribers and uh, charter members, <laughs> if we could say that. Uh, beautiful little uh, guy. It uh, you got a little stamp with it, and there's um, a little thing that you can look through, and uh, you can see uh, what was it? well the airs airs. I think I'm saying that right. Airs rock. Australia. There's a little picture of it there. I think that's what you can see through the camera. But uh, they had quite a set. There was quite a series. Um, oh yeah, here they are. They don't have the cars listed, but there are the sites that you could see. Galapagos Islands, get out of here! <laughs> yeah, so there you go. So oh, there was 36 of them. 36 of them, so I'll, you'd have to do a little Googling there to find out, but uh, it it was uh, the Freelander that was uh, for Australia. I don't know, do they have do they have Freelanders in Australia? Not really sure. All right, this is the next thing that I got to show you. I love this. I don't know really where I got it from, KB Toys. I'm not sure. Um... It's a little backpack, and uh, here you can see, well here we can see some of the vehicles. Well anyway, it's a little backpack, I, it's sealed shut, it got a little zip tie on there, and uh, 
stuff, but it's a little backpack. It's plastic, clear plastic, Ziploc. Did, it, did I tell you it was a backpack? <laughs> okay, moving right along. <laughs> All right, we're going to adjust the camera here so you can see this a little bit better here. So, yeah, there it is. Uh, around the world backpack. And uh, you can see that there was, uh, what is that, five different ones that you could uh, get. And these were some of the other vehicles that was in and available in this uh, around the world. But uh, as far as I could tell, there is no real difference um, in that Freelander in this pack. It's the same as what was on the card. So just kind of neat. I've never really seen anything like this before. Um, just quite unique. Just, uh, yeah, special locations. Uh, I don't even remember what I paid for it. I would probably assume that this is kind of an expensive thing. You know, I mean, there's a lot of cars in there, a lot of packaging and all that. So could have been $15. I, I don't really remember. But I haven't seen another one since or before or after I got that one. <laughs> so there you go. All right, the next one we've got is uh, this one here. There's kind of a story behind this one. Um, I had bought this from the store. I, one of these I had bought from the store. I believe Kmart. A lot of those came from Kmart. Um, but one of these I bought from the store. And um, I don't know why... But it became, for me, uh, a holy grail. I was trying to build my case, as I saw before, and I could not get one of these green ones loose. I knew that it existed because I had it in a five-pack. And uh, this is kind of everybody on there. Looney Tunes, uh, SpongeBob, uh, Johnny, Mnemonic, uh, or I don't know, Neutron. But anyway... This was a holy grail for me for a long time. I don't know why I couldn't get it. Plastic on plastic, orange and green. It's kind of a metallic flake green. Now it doesn't, this is the one that is the exception. I told you all of them were Tommies. Well, this one being a Nickelodeon because they had Rugrats and I don't know what characters that is. Johnny Neutron and Rugrats and Nickelodeon with SpongeBob. So they didn't have just... Uh, Tommy on this one but uh yeah but anyway I did eventually find some and I was able to get one or two uh and I got them loose so then I could put them in my display so that was kind of a weird <laughs> a weird kind of thing <laughs> all right so the next one um that we've got uh came in a five pack and um I don't know why, but my notes say that it's supposed to be, uh, oh, I, I, cause I don't have one. That's why 2005, there came a uh, charcoal one with the ostrich rescue. And, um, I don't have a package of that, but let's, uh, slide over here to my jammers. And I know that I have it in a jammer. Yeah, there we go. Let's, uh, as you can see, I've got uh, quite a few of these. Um, I don't know why I don't have one of these in uh, the five pack, but um, this is the next one. 2005 was the um, five pack Jungle Adventures. And I don't know if I've misplaced it or I really don't have one, but uh, it's supposed to be uh, China Base is one of the variations. Now this one says Thailand. So there was supposed to be two uh, type uh, different variations uh, with that one already. But uh, yeah, kind of unique. And uh, I'm still kind of puzzled that I, I don't have a uh, five pack of that. But that's, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> but there you go. That's, the, that's it. Loose. Kind of a green greenish bottom. Uh, it goes with the leaves and stuff. And uh, those are little ostriches looking at you there. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Ostrich Refuge. Yeah, there you go. So let's put him back in the case here before I drop him and goes all over the place. We'll look again at uh, my jammers and what all I've got there. 
uh, the loose stuff. Uh, let's just keep moving right along. Next was uh, 2005 was this here um, Hitchin Hall, and it was Deep Sea Escape. Now, there are a couple of different versions, they say, of these, uh, being that uh, China versus Thailand or whatnot. These two I have um, are, are still, uh, they are the China ones. But uh, pretty, pretty neat. Uh, came with a big old octopus there and a scuba diver guy and a shark with um, what kind of boat is that? They got a name for that boat. But anyway, comes with this uh, yellow with the orange with the blue interior. So both of those are the same. Let's just take a quick look at the back. Uh, scuba man, hunting shark, raft boat, there we go. And giant squid, oh, excuse me, uh, not an octopus, giant squid. <laughs> but here are some of the other uh, adventure, Hitchin Hall adventures. So if you uh, want to get some of those, that's, uh, and more. And, look at there, and more. But uh, 2005 is when they say they uh, came out. Um... So yeah, we're, we're going to talk a little bit more about these guys. Uh, ominous green eyes on that uh, squid. That's right. Now the, the the picture looks like more of an octopus, but the, the character is a squid. But anyway, so yeah, there you go. Uh, we do have a, a look at one of those. Um, just loose. I do have a couple of those that I did find in the wild or whatnot. There was supposedly uh, a variation of this too. Um, dark blue and then like a lighter blue interior, but uh, virtually uh, kind of the same. I don't know. That one time they call this yellow and then the other time they call it lemon. So I'm not sure if there's kind of a variation in the colors there or not. I'm not rightly sure. But. Uh, all right, moving right along, we've got uh, another, they came with another um, ostrich uh, refuge pack, a second one in 2005, and, uh, and then um, this one too. They listed another one of these in 2005, which was uh, different, I guess. But All right, so we're going to move right along to... Uh, this one here, another five pack came out, and uh, this is uh, Matchbox Metal, ready for action, uh, five pack, and just kind of just a Matchbox set, nothing really too spectacular about it, no real um, name to it other than, you know, a Matchbox to it, but uh, there you go, Let's look around the package. But a nice little blue one, it's a metallic blue, number one, Team Freelander. So that's kind of cool. That came out in 2006. Yeah, 2006. All right, so moving right along, we go into um, another five-pack. And uh, ready for action. Nothing really as far as denouncing what kind of a five pack it is they're just they just threw cars together and they guess they you were supposed to guess what theme it was <laughs> by by the cars in it but they didn't have anything on it but anyway um uh vacations i guess it was called i'm i'm not sure but uh get a got a h2 there and got a truck with a boat on there and then it's uh got the old Freelander there, uh, suburban and a RV, but that's uh, New Mexico ancient site tours on there, and uh, I want to say that there might have been a couple of different variations on that, but I'm not really sure. But uh, but yeah, those even being in a five pack, I seem to be able to find a couple of these. Uh, in pretty good shape and then uh, obviously in played with shape but uh, really unique I like that uh, the red really is sharp I like those wheels on there 
and uh, the New Mexico. I've got a couple of those loose. We can take a look at those later too. So there we go. That's uh, 2008 is where we're at. And then now 2008, we go back to uh, Hitchin Hall. A little bit different uh, packaging from before. Uh, just a quick comparison here uh, to the models. They kind of changed the way they uh, dialed them up and stuff like that. And I do have some of those uh, characters loose, which um, uh, let's take a quick look around the packaging here. They, they had uh, flame tamers and construction kings, stuff like that. And came with the Land Rover Freelander, huge shark, giant squid, scuba diver. And this one came with a jet ski instead of the, the jet boat or, or whatever. Now, I do, um, I watched John, oh, and I can't remember his YouTube channel. He's out in California. And uh, uh, Real Time Racing, what is it? I don't know, Don, he, he's got quite a thing. I, I haven't been watching him lately. But anyway, he did a thing on these. And um, these characters, and I've tried to, I, I think I bought one of these off eBay and one I bought in the store. But they're virtually the same there. But I did see John one time do a review on his. And his uh, light gray set had uh, white flippers and things like that. They had a little bit more details on the scuba diver guy than um, this pack. Uh, it was different than this. I mean, it was more, but it was that light gray versus this dark blue. And But it was painted the same as this guy. So, I don't know. Variation, whatever, I don't know. Out Cali versus the Midwest, I'm not sure. So, so there you go. So we were talking, what is that? Oh, 2008. The only other thing is, and this one is quite, quite uh, I, I have found quite a few of these. I've got three or four loose in my jammer plus the one in there uh, and this one. And there is a paint difference, paint scheme difference on this and that I don't have. And you see it's basically white, pearl white. And they say that they're supposed to be just like a plain white that's not pearl. But the biggest thing is that red, yellow, and black stripe, the other variation doesn't have that black stripe. It's just yellow and red. So I've been trying to keep an eye out and trying to buy these, uh, you know, at a good price, you know, just picking them up because I've got some, but I'm trying to get that rare one without that black trim up and around over the rear tire. So that's supposedly another variations. Uh, more of a flat white enamel versus sparkly metallic. And then that stripe is gone. So there you go. So that was uh, 2008 there. Uh, 2011 was the one where they came out with just the yellow and red stripe. This is the early edition, the 2008. So uh, apparently in 2011 they reissued uh, these and uh, they actually, you can tell the, the packaging is different on these as well. Um, I just kind of noticed that too. Uh, as you see on the edge here, uh, the banner is different on the top and on the side there. So, uh, but they're the same vehicle. They still have the black, the black trim on there. Let's take a look. This one is uh, 2007 with the... Uh, border on there and this one is 2009 2009 with the plain blue banner across the top so there we go we got a little bit of difference there but they were virtually uh the same same vehicle as far as uh, deco and stuff like that so there we go so here we come ladies and gentlemen to the last and final five pack the packaging was the Walmart exclusive Land Rover series. Um, and we have the Freelander right in the middle of the five pack. So 2000 or 2016 uh, was the last time that we saw the Freelander and it was uh, nice metallic blue. I'm not really sure what the uh, 53 denotes there, but uh, very nice car, very nice car. So. 
there we go. We made it through all the <laughs> packaging and uh, everything like that. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. I, I like I say, I do have uh, uh, more jammers and things like that full of uh, of uh, my cars. I don't know if I can really show them off too much because uh, they're so big and bulky. But uh, yeah, you can see I've got quite a few of these. These are on the back side and these are on the front side. Uh, divers, like I said, I've been trying to get that one variation. Um, and that uh, the powder powder puff up here on the top. Trying to trying to get more of those. Yeah, we can see that. Yeah, we can see that. All right, let's flip it over real quick here. <laughs> And this is the first gen stuff here. And trying to keep them cataloged and uh, you know what what different variations and stuff like that. Most of those are all the same, you know. Here's that five pack. Now, if you remember from one of my other videos, these uh Freelanders got the dot on there, and I was at the Iola car show. And a fellow, that was all he did. That was his collection, was five packs, and he busted them all open. So I got a few of those. There's Tommy Boy there. Then we move on to another one. Yeah, I've got another jammer full of uh, ones. Here I got the, the oddball ones that I've only got like a couple of, and, and not really multiples. I've got a couple of these loose, as uh, one's on the table, one's in the display. But, uh, yeah, the th that ostrich one, I thought I for sure had, uh, uh, you know, a, a five-pack of that, but apparently I don't. I'll have to see if I can find one. But uh, there you go. So there's my jammers. Backside, we just got the old uh, double cabs on there. But, yeah, cool beans, cool beans. Okay, now it's time to talk about I've had these for a while. And so I have uh, made a couple of customs. As you all know, I've got a uh, bare metal or a, um, you know, uh, Zamac collection. And uh, this is one of them. Uh, I really like those wheels. So I kind of took one and made it all gray and everything. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, take one of these apart. And then I'll show you some of the uh, differences here. So it's uh, two, two rivet construction, and uh, there's the base right there. Now this has got that wonderful clip-on suspension, so you can just pop those wheels right off. That's really kind of nice. Uh, I, I really like that kind of, <laughs> it's a customizer. Instead of the three prongs, you get suspension and you get, uh, you know, easy on and off swap there. Not too bad on the... Uh, you know, we got a lot of details that the Freelander is a independent suspension uh, vehicle. So there we go. There's that. And then uh, the next part is uh, the interior with the um, bumpers and eyebrows. Very ingenious uh, way to, uh, you know, get, get a hold of, uh, you know, using that plastic parts as good you know as best you can you know they've got details on the bumperettes and stuff like that uh the steering wheel yeah a little wanting there but it's got a little stick shift there seats look comfy oh yeah nice nice but the uh, dash has got some uh detailing there but yeah not too bad but yeah it's kind of unique they've got the uh the headlight and the the, or the, the head main grill, a little badger bump there. But uh, so there you go. So that's the interior. And then we come to the uh, main body. The, the uh, spare tire and the third light. And I don't know why we always go yellow there every once in a while. <laughs> but we do. <laughs> but the third light and the spare tire, that's a, uh, another piece. I suppose they call that a, another total separate piece. But that's just uh, melted on there with a peg. And uh, so then we get to the, um, the windshield, which is riveted on there. So you got to be careful taking that off. Oh, there goes my spare tire. I had that one apart. Yeah, you can tell this one was a yellow one. I'm not really sure. It probably was, uh, 
that New Mexico one. But uh, anyway, here's the glass, uh, side glass, and then it has the T-top glass and the front windshield. And then they incorporate the headlights as part of uh, the windshield with, you know, piece, the glass piece. So that's kind of neat. You get that, um, availability where you could, uh, silver the back side of that. So then, uh, it kind of gives it a realistic, uh, look, but, uh, very nice, you know, side markers on it, door handles, the little, uh, Land Rover badge on the, on the, uh, B pillar that you could, uh, you know, customize and make and, get into focus but side markers there like I say I really like the uh, the ribbing or whatever they call it on the bottom there I really thought that was kind of a neat touch you know it's got the uh, tra tail lights excuse me the tail lights in the back which uh, you know you could detail pretty good the the uh, license plate now on the other side it's got the gas cap there but yeah really a nice nice car i remember uh test driving one of these and a totally different feel than the original uh land rovers you know of of the day so uh but i would still like to get one i would still like to own a a freelander i would i know that they had uh issues with uh motors and uh the supplying the motors uh getting replacement parts and replacement motors there was a dispute or whatever about uh who owned the motor and such and so forth. Uh, so I'm just putting this back together while I'm rambling, okay? <laughs> now this one here, you gotta, gotta hook the front end. It's kind of the way it goes and that kind of holds it. You hook it in there and that's why they get that nice uh, lower balance is metal. But then it locks in there kind of nice and tight like that. And then the only other piece. So what did we have? One, two, three, four four pieces uh plus that that spare tire which i think they'd have to to call another piece and uh, we'll just pop that back on i'm sure it won't stay but uh there you go just a nice that's my uh zamac the tires are a little bit big you know for like stock what they used to come on but uh really really kind of nice all right let me show you some other customs that i um uh, was kind of working on Here's my patriotic red, white, and blue. I was going to paint the body. Got the white wheels, uh, blue base. Of course, this was, uh, I think this was a Taz base, and the kid went wild on it. And uh, red interior, got the spare tire to put back on there. But I was trying to make a patriotic red, white, and blue. One, one there. Same with this, kind of with the red, red windows versus the, the clear windows. So I was trying to make some uh, kind of different, just a little bit different there. And then, of course, in the uh, videos, you notice that uh, a lot of, well, uh, some of them, and I don't know why. And, I, you know, there was no real rhyme or reason why they came out with Metal Base and why they didn't come out with Metal Base. But they did come out with Metal on Metal, but it never got the treatment of uh 50 is super fast or uh anything like that so it never did a metal on metal with rubber tires so i still haven't even done it i've got a plastic base with uh some some rubber tires uh just kind of just threw them on there to just kind of see how it how they look and and it rolls pretty good it's not too bad let's see if we can get down here and take a look i mean it's it's not a bad roller but uh yeah but I, it would be nice if uh, Matchbox could uh, do a uh, uh, deluxe series on this with uh, metal base and metal body with some uh, nice real rider tires on there. So, all right, I think that is it, folks. I hope you uh, totally enjoyed this. I'm sorry, uh, we're on to another 30 minutes, and I've been just talking and yapping and showing <laughs> so sorry there are two long videos but i'm not sorry because i love to talk about this stuff and the freelander is one of my faves uh, i did a jacked up version I, and i don't even have that here but anyway there you go if you got any insight or information about your collection of freelanders please yeah comment down below come over to facebook 
Roverland and share your pictures over there as well as come on over to Instagram at Roverland channel. All those links will be in the description. I'm going to have more, um, I'm going to tag the, uh, yeah, probably right now you see it, tag the part one to this video and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And as always, slow traffic, keep right and have a great Rover day.